Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to read uh, from the Gospel of St. Matthew, June 30, <clears throat> Gospel of St. Matthew, <clears throat> for today's Mass. Okay. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea. So that boat was being swamped by waves, but he... Referring to Jesus, he was asleep. You imagine that situation, okay? The apostles were in the boat. This boat is oftentimes described as the boat of Peter. Okay? St. Peter was a fisherman. He had to own a boat. So this is the image of the, uh, the church, okay? The boat is, is being, is being uh, oftentimes used as the image of the church, which has all the apostles sailing with it somewhere. Maybe they were on a fishing trip themselves, or maybe they were just out to relax a little bit uh, after a hard day's uh, work. And they were with Jesus, and Jesus fell asleep in the boat. So I want you to picture that. Keep that image in your mind. And then, as they were there in the middle of whatever that, maybe the lake of uh, Genesareth or somewhere, a storm comes. While they were at the lake in the boat, a strong storm uh, buffets the boat. Now imagine, these are fishermen. These people are used to getting you know, a little rough weather once in a while. But this particular storm that met them at sea terrified them. They terrified this tried and tested hardy men who are used to these kinds of weather. But in this particular case, the apostles became afraid of this storm. What does that tell you? It must have been quite a storm. Right? A storm that's out of the ordinary, something that perhaps they don't experience all the time. But Jesus was asleep. Despite all the harrowing winds or the, uh, the waves, perhaps, that would uh, you know, slap onto that boat and, and, and rock it. Despite all of that, Jesus was just asleep. Unperturbed. By what's going on around him. But the apostles were terrified. So what do they do? They start shouting and they start screaming and scrambling around for perhaps how they could save themselves. And then when they find Jesus, they say, hey, Jesus, wake up. Wake up. We are perishing. Right? We are perishing. Save us. They say, Lord, save us. We are perishing. You can imagine our Lord maybe with a sleepy head. Because he's human. He was just awakened, rattled from a, a, a deep sleep. And perhaps he would have told his apostles, Why are you terrified? Oh, you of little faith. I want you to understand that. Why are you terrified? Oh, you of little faith. Let's explain that later. But continuing with the gospel, it says, Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. And the men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this? Whom even the winds and the sea obey. So there are, some, there are plenty of very interesting images and lessons we can draw from this particular gospel. But I think what is most relevant today, especially in these times when we are experiencing this uh, crisis of a pandemic, is the very words of Jesus here. The question, why are you terrified? O oh, you of little faith. We've been talking a lot about fear, right? In this pandemic and it is obvious that a lot of people are afraid. You 
You see, look at the question of our Lord. Pay attention to it. He asked, why are you terrified? Is it because the storm is so strong? Is it because our boat is unstable? Is it because, um, what, you're afraid of dying? Is it because uh, of the sound that you hear? It's so strong. It's so uh, unnerving. Why are you terrified? It's, he, our Lord doesn't ask the cause in, by enumerating whether it's the sea, the sound, the boat, the whatever it is, or any other reason there might be for getting scared. He attaches immediately the answer to his question. The answer is, <laughs> you have very little faith. Right? <clears throat> in fact, it's a rebuke <clears throat> that our Lord gives the apostles. Why are you afraid? Oh, you of little faith. In other words, very clearly here, fear is a consequence of a lack of faith. Because if we have faith in the fact that Christ is in our boat, okay, you know, that boat can be each one of us too. It's not only the image of the church, but it can be each and every one of us. We are the vessel that is journeying towards the sea of life. Okay? You can imagine yourselves. That's the other imagery here. A vessel that's journeying through the sea, the turbulent sea of life. That's us. That is the boat that is us. And Christ is in that boat. Right? If Jesus is in our boat as we journey through life, why are we going to be afraid? Because having Jesus in us means that we are journeying with faith. Okay? We are going through life with faith in Jesus Christ. So why are we afraid? Why are we afraid? And what will give us any cause for fear? If Jesus is in our boat, if Jesus is in our life. That's a lesson that we need to understand from this gospel today. Okay? And how does Jesus come into our life? How does Jesus come into our life? Can you tell me? How? What is the most significant way that Jesus comes into our life? Joe? Joe? Okay, through the sacraments, right? The sacraments of Holy Communion, Confession, and all the other seven sacraments. So God, Jesus, is in our boat, is in, in us, in our hearts, in our minds, primarily through grace. Okay? The grace that comes primarily from the sacraments, okay? And also from our life of piety, from our prayer life, from, for every, from everything else that we do for the greater glory of God. So if God is in our souls, if Jesus is in our heart, there is nothing to fear. Okay? We can remain strong. We can remain confident that nothing bad is going to happen in our lives because Jesus is in the boat. But look, that boat was rocked by that storm. It was buffeted by that storm. It was roughed up by that storm. So even the boat of Peter where Jesus is or was, is not exempt from going through some rough seas in, in, in life. Same thing is true with us. Okay? We are also not exempt from experiencing a lot of buffeting here and there from the stormy seas of life. But let us be confident and have faith that Jesus is in the boat. And that is going to be our source of strength of our courage to sail on. Okay? Okay, that is it for us. We are off to Mass. Have a good day, everybody.